Hello guys, I created a new Blender add-on called JRemesh, with that I can include quad-based remeshes, and the first one is Instant Meshes. You find the add-on here on my GitHub, so you see it's free, and you can get it when you click here on the code button and then download zip. You also need the free application Instant Meshes from this page, where you find the pre-compiled binaries for Windows, macOS or Linux. Ok, so why quad-based remeshing? Well, I like to use it for hard surface sculpting. For example, this simple mesh here. When you remesh it using the voxel remesher, then the topology can't be used, for example, to add modifiers like the multi-resolution modifier. So let's have a look at an example. After installing the add-on, you have the J remesh panel here in the sidebar. We find the settings of instant meshes, for example to enable slower but deterministic algorithms for remeshing, but I guess the most important one is the vertex count, with that you can define the number of vertices of the remeshed object. In this case I set it to 30,000, and then I press remesh. It takes some time, and after the remesh the original object is hidden in the scene but still there so it is non-destructive and the remeshed object is the active one. You see the mesh in edit mode, quad based and evenly remeshed. Ok, and now I can add different modifiers to the mesh, for example the simple deform. Then I set this to bend to create a shape like this. And if you want to use this now for hard surface sculpting, to add more details to the mesh, you can go ahead and apply this modifier and add a multi-resolution modifier. I press subdivide in the modifier, and then I switch to sculpt mode. Ok, and now we can add details to the mesh, for example using the scrape brush or the clay strips. Here for the edges, to make it look more crisp and stylized. And here I add some damages using the clay strips. I found out that Instant Meshes has some problems for remeshing N-Gons. Here I have a mesh with two large N-Gons, then I remesh using 5000 vertices, and the result is definitely not very good. What you can do is to triangulate the mesh before the remeshing, but I prefer adding a triangulate modifier to the mesh, because this approach is non-destructive. And again, same mesh, remesh, and here you can see the result. I think I will add a triangulate option to the add-on so that you don't have to add it manually. Ok, a last example, here I have a mesh that I created using a subdivision surface modifier and I have this metal material attached, and you see this mesh can't be used for sculpting. My approach is here to remesh it using JRemesh, then I have a quad based mesh, and again I can add a multi resolution modifier. So I press remesh, take some time. Alright, that's it, a new object is created, and you see that the material is copied and transferred to the new object. It's already quite dense, but I go to sculpt mode. And before I begin sculpting, I smooth it a bit using the mesh filter. Just drag to the right, not too much, don't overdo it, just to get rid of some artifacts. And after that, I add a multi-resolution modifier. One subdivide should be enough. And then I can use brushes like the scrape brush to sculpt in more details to the mesh. The add-on is under heavy development and at the moment I'm adding Quadri Flow to the remeshes. I know it is integrated into Blender 3, but I don't like the integration too much. 
In JRemesh you will have a batch mode in the end and you will also be able to invoke it from object, edit or sculpt mode. Here you can see the first test for Quadro Flow. I think in a few days the integration is completed. As I said, the add-on is free, but you can find it also on the Blender market. And when you get it from there, you get special support and you support me and the Blender Dev Fund. So guys, I hope you like the add-on and my channel. And if you do, then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you still have any questions, then add these here to the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.